Hello YouTube, how are you? Friendly neighborhood crustacean swimming over to you. Yes, I'm swimming over to you. So I was trying something new with the thing, with the camera thing because I'm waiting for it to go one second in before I start talking. Excuse me, because it was cut. I was like in mid sentence and I like part of it didn't get in the, the video and it was just like, what did she say? I have no idea oh, what she said. And my teeth, why do you think it's working? I'm using baking soda and um, cinnamon. I'll have to make another one and show you guys how I did it. But anyway, so um, hopefully this video will get loaded up on Sunday, which is it's going to be 9-11. Wow. Wow. That probably would be a couple things on 9-11 day. But anyway, um, well, first of all, where was I on 9-11? I was, um, I was at band. And I was at homeschooled. And I was at band. We had a homeschool band that we went to every Tuesday. And on the way to, um, on the way to band, uh, I just felt, I, um, well, uh, let me backtrack a little bit. Each Christian, okay, is given a, we understand it's given a spiritual gift. Um, it can be lots of different things. I might talk about that at some point. But, um, mine is, this fruity, this might sound, is what? Is prophecy slash discernment slash intuition slash those kind of things. So I just felt a bad vibe in the morning and I was like, it didn't put me in a bad mood and it was just, everything just felt kind of, uh, well, I didn't find out about the towers until about midday on Tuesday because of band and stuff. And um, then we went over to a friend's house and watched um, a replay of the footage, you know, the, the top planes hitting the towers. And I just, I was like, I just went numb. I was like numb the rest of the day, walking, just walking through my day like we had band and then we had gym practice and I, I just, I just kind of was numb, you know. I really don't remember a whole lot of the day. I really don't um, remember like exactly what I said or did or wore or ate or anything like that. I do remember just feeling just oh my gosh this is this didn't happen this just didn't happen and of course it did and I and I'm not saying that you know I know um don't know anybody personally that was in any of the towers or at the Pentagon or anything like that the only way I personally was affected by it is because my aunt was Muslim and of course a lot of the Muslim people after that and ever since have gotten a lot of crappy treatment. So that's where I was, sorry my nose is searching, that's where I was on 9-11 um, and it was just, you know it was a sad day, it is a sad thing that happened um, to our country uh, that they, that somebody would just have that much anger no matter who you think or what you think was involved in it, whether do you take what the news said and that what happened or you think something a little bit more was at play or whatever it was just it was sad it was really sad and that so many people got killed and um you know and our country's never been the same since it i mean you know we to a certain point have come out stronger but to a certain point we've come out weaker um and I might talk about more about that later in a different video, but this is just, I was sitting here getting ready to share this, well, I was going to share on this video with you, and then I was listening to a, a family member has a TV play in the background, and they were talking about 9-11, so that's what made me think of that. But uh, this is what I was going to share with you. Um, I'm, I know I said 
back in before the summer that I was going to do a video on every verse of the Bible, and I still am. Um, I just got sick uh, the like the first two weeks of June, last week of May, first weeks of first two weeks of June, got sick, and I had to recover from all that, and then it was just a lot of health issues. So that's why I didn't make a video by every verse of the Bible, but I'm still wanting to do that. I'm still going to do that. I just have to figure out the particulars. You know what I mean? The bane. So what I was going to share today was out of the book of the Bible. It's called Deuteronomy. It is Genesis, Exodus, Deuteronomy. It's the third book in the Bible, and it's in the, the grouping. The Bible is grouped into several different, like, categories, and, um, this is grouped what they call the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible, and it talks about really the beginning of Israel as a nation. So, what it says here in Deuteronomy, and I'm in chapter um, 28, and um, the chapters and verses in the Bible are not, they're not um, inspired. They're not, they were just made for people to be like, not to be like, oh, you gotta unfold your scroll four times and then roll it back once time, and then it's just easier to click. Like, it's in the under this chapter, under this verse. It's easier to tell people where to go. So, um, this chapter starts with and. So you want to really look at what it was bef was going on before. And um, I'm not going to do that in this particular video, but if you want to, go ahead. You can type in. If you don't have a Bible, you can type in Deuteronomy 28 into Google search, and it will give you several places. You can go to crosswalk.com if they're still up and running, which I think they are, and they do a Bible search. So, um, But what it says here in uh, chapter 28, verse 1, it says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God, and to observe to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Verse 2. And all these blessings shall come upon on thee, and overtake thee, if thou, shalt, if, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And then it says in verse 3, and going on to verse 4. Blessed shalt thou be in the, in the city, blessed shalt thou be in the field. Now... Just going on the text, just the text, not looking anything up, not doing any kind of search, just looking black and white at that text right here. This, it um, has some key things in it. Shall, you know, is a promise word. Diligently is an action word. Observe is an action word. Um, to do all is another action, and command is an action. He says all, and then he says in verse 2, all these blessings, that's another promise. And then it says overtake thee, so that means like an overflow. You're like you pour water into a cup and you're like, look away for a second, all of a sudden your waters are coke or whatever is going on everywhere. Overflow. Um, and then he says, you know, that you should, that you will be blessed, these are promises, so be blessed in the city and be blessed in the field. So just real briefly, I know this video is getting a little bit on the longer side. Um, real briefly, he says, pretty much, if you listen closely, you do what you're supposed to do, um, then you will be blessed, and you'll be blessed no matter where you're at. So, do what you're supposed to do, and listen and you'll be blessed. Simple, right? Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. My Check out the description. I put all kinds of fun things in there. Um, my social medias will be in there, like um, Twitter, Instagram, and all that. Um, so, like and subscribe to this channel. We have almost doubled, and I am really excited about that. Can't, can't wait to see what we have in the future. Alright. Mm -hmm.